Hello, this is Sharon from scstatisticalprogramming.com. In this tutorial, we'll continue look for the report procedure statements. In this tutorial, we'll be looking at the define statement. As I mentioned in previous tutorial, the define statement defines the characteristics of an item in the report. And these characteristics include how PROC report uses the item in the report and the text of the column heading and also the format to use to display values. The usage that we specify for variables in the define statement includes this following usages, display, order, across, group, and analysis. In this tutorial, we'll specify some formatting option using the display define usage or display define type. All right. First here, I include the lab name statement and also the options. The lab statement, those are the same as the previous tutorial program. This is the permanent library score and this is the permanent format library MYFMTS. And also this option, again, it tells SAS to look for the format from this format library. Okay, let me move it up a little bit. This is the PROC report procedure included in this tutorial. The data I want to use is score dot score data one. This is created from the last tutorial. This is the score data one in this permanent score library. Okay. And the title is a simple formatted detail report. It's still a detail report on observation level, but we add some format option in the following display statements. Okay. But the column statement is the same as the one in the last tutorial. We still want to include those columns or variables. The first one name is the student name and then followed by the student class information, gender information, and every score, as well as grade information for each student, all right? I use the define statement. For student name, I just want to display it, okay? And for the student class information, uh, I want to display it with this new columns labels. Basically, you can replace the label as the column heading by specifying the new heading in quotes. Here I give it a new column heading and it's in quotation marks. And also the slash between the text student and then the text class is the line break symbol used to force the heading to write lines. Okay, that's why I put a slash here. And then the third define statement is for define gender variable. I want to display this variable and also I give it a width equals five. This variable will occupy five spaces. And then for this next define statement, I want to define average score. Uh, again, the usage is display. And I want to give it a column heading is a student average score. And in between the student and every score, there is a line break symbol here. The heading will wrap. And also the format I give this variable is 4.1. That means this format will apply to the values for this variable. All right, it will show four digit, but with one decimal place for the values for this variable, okay? And lastly, I want to define grid variable to simply display this variable, okay? Let's run this procedure and see um, how we change the formatting of each variables. All right, this is the table from PROC report procedure. The title is simple formatted detailed report is still on observation level. We have student name here, and also we have a student class. This one, we give this column heading, 
and also we use the line break symbol, the slash. So it occupies two lines. The first one is student and the second one is class. All right. This is the gender. And also here, this is the average score. We can see the new column heading up here for this column. And also the format for this average score is 4.1, which is specified in the display statement for this variable. It occupies four uh, spaces and also it has one decimal place. All right. And then lastly, it's the grid variable. Okay, let's go back to the code window. This is it for this tutorial. For this tutorial, we continue on showing one of the report procedure statement, which is the define statement. And also for define statement, we particularly give an example of how to use the display usage or display option to specify some formatting options for different columns. All right. This is it. Thank you for watching. See you next time.